Hey guys, what is going on? This is Pantsar Dragon, and today we'll be doing a little video on 7 tips to get better at solo queue. You know, my number one tip, as I said before a million times, is you should play OP Champions, which is highly true in my opinion, but I've been actually playing a lot of ranked recently, and you know, some games went good, and some games went bad. From the bad games though, I learned a lot and self-analyzed what I could do better, and basically those thoughts are going to be put into this video. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get started. So again, all the advice I'm going to tell you guys is something I'm going to be taking into consideration myself, and hopefully I'll be using it. But yeah, let's just get right into the tips, and first off, turn your autopilot off. So myself, I'm usually on autopilot in rank because I'm like, you know, this game's going to be easy, I don't really have to try, but you know, it turns out some of the games are hard, and we start losing at like 15 minutes, and I know I could have been like, shit, I could have played some things better if I was playing at like 80% instead of like 50%, which is what I usually do, and I half-ass games. Also, it's one of the reasons why I've been playing so much support, and just rely on my team to carry me since I'm playing the weakest role. Like, I mean, I queue up for jungle, and I don't really mind playing support, but I think my team can just carry me, to be honest. Like, while playing like Zyra or Tarek, you know, something OP, but yeah, I should probably stop hoping that my teammates can carry me and start being more of a carry and going like jungle on top or something. One thing I'm starting to realize more is that I'm letting Diamond 1s and Master Tier junglers to go jungle instead of, you know, me, who's kind of stuck in the secondary role as a support. But you know, in my opinion, I shouldn't be queuing up with these Diamond 1s in the first place. I wouldn't mind a Master Tier jungler going for jungle, but fuck. Sometimes when I queue up and, you know, a Diamond 1 gets jungle and I get support, it's a little triggering. But yeah, honestly, Start being a carry. Stop relying on your teammates. Alright, for the next step, if you try hard and lose, go for a break. You know, eat a Kit Kat or something. But yeah, if you're turning your autopilot off and you're turning your try hard mode on and you lose a game when you're at like 80%, you're gonna be pretty frustrated. Because you put all your effort into something and you're still lost and it sucks. One of the reasons why I said I didn't tilt before was because I was actually putting 50% in solo queue. So whenever I lost, I wouldn't tilt and whenever I won, I'd be like, oh yay. Like, I didn't care too much, right? So in that sense, I can't tilt. But if I try hard and go 80% and lose the game, I just fall down on the ground and cry myself to sleep. But yeah, if you're frustrated and you start up a new game, you're not going to play as good or you won't really care about the game as much. In my scenario, I just think the next game will be better. For me, when I'm frustrated in a game, I will play the same, because my mind is still calm and I don't tilt off the face of the earth. And I usually know what to do in certain scenarios, but the thing is, I'll probably be playing at 50% and probably be on autopilot. There's no way I can go 80% if I'm like super tilted. Alright, so for the next tip, if you have a gambler's mentality and you play until you lose, you'll probably lose more games because you won't care until you actually finally get that win. So the games you don't care for, are probably going to be on autopilot and probably not at 80 percent tryhard mode oh yeah i forgot if you are at 100 percent tryhard mode and you lose the game you'll probably be super angry so that's why i say always go 80 percent all right so for the next tip play your comfort picks if you don't want to play the ops that's fine but you're like say very comfortable on something like darius top and you know you can carry with him and you're confident in him by all means, go for it. You'll play better because you'll know what to do in certain situations or you've carried games and ranked before with this champion. Which means you're super confident that you can do good on this champion and not be like a shitty player and suck. For instance, one of my comfort picks is Fiddlesticks, although some people might not think he's OP. I feel really comfortable on him and I actually think he's still OP, but only I'm thinking that and I guess I'd say I'm comfortable with him or I'm actually very comfortable with Kindred because she's OP and I like OPs. Or like, if you look through your champions and you see which champions you have high win rates with, those are also gonna be your comfort picks. All right, so next up, if I'm going to be off autopilot, I'm going to order my teammates. Tell them what I'm gonna do, tell them what they're gonna do, etc. You know, basically just shot call. In this situation, I'm telling my bot lane to play passive because first off, they are not AD carry or support mains and they're facing a duo bot lane who has an AD carry and a support main. So I'm telling them my plan is to snowball mid and top because you guys are the weakest in our team, so my jungle presence of the bot lane won't be there and they're gonna have to be playing passive. Otherwise, if they go aggressive, it probably won't work out for them and they may be caught out by the jungler or just straight up die 2v2. All right, so for the next tip, don't do cocky shit. Throws are easy to do. I've probably done this in my last four games out of 12 where my team and I have single-handedly 
gave the enemy team a free win by just doing stupid shit and not grouping up. So, you know, that's like 80 minus LP and, you know, I'm starting to realize that the enemy team actually has a decent late game and our late game kind of sucks, so I probably should stop doing dumb stuff and telling people to group. And yes, we did lose that swing game. I've definitely learned my lesson. And finally, our last tip, analyze your gameplay and improve. You know, while editing some of my videos, I actually noticed a few things like what I'm doing wrong. I'm like, oh, probably shouldn't have done that. Or I could have done this, etc. Or like I look at better players than me and I compare my playstyle versus their playstyle. And when I watch them play, I go, I would do this in this certain scenario, but I want to see what this guy's going to do in this certain scenario. And then if he does something differently, I go, why did he do that? And I try and think and figure out why he did that. But usually that is answered when I see what happens after he does that thing. So yeah, compare your playstyle with better players and then you learn from them and then you adapt it into your own playstyle. Alright, so that's going to be the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In one of my other videos, I asked you guys to guess who is the fastest jungler and here are some of my favorite guesses. For a chance to be featured in a future video, make sure to comment below on what is your tip for solo queue. You've heard my tips, so let's hear your tips. Oh, wait. I mean dynamic queue. Also, I'll be at Gexcon on July 23rd to 24th, which is in Fredericksburg, Virginia. So if you guys are around, stop by. Anyways, if you guys did like this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you didn't, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, I am Panzer Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time.